Hello there, here, and today we're going to play Aquatic Grave. This is an RPG Maker? Got it? I I'm not really sure because the science is a goddess sign. Unless I'm stupid and that's not a goddess sign this whole time that I'm thinking it's a goddess sign. I am probably am. Anyway, uh, yes, me and I've talked, let's start. Oh, that's not even a goddess sign. I'm just stupid. Yes, I'm just stupid. I just realized it is not. That's, uh, that's excellent. It looks like a musical sign. I'm impressed. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's start playing a game, shall we, and don't talk about our stupidity. Look at this! Woo! Distraction! This looks so nice. New game! Ah, so, warning, this game doesn't have any horrific stuff, uh, but it contains some strong language, which should have maybe been put in the game itself when we're starting, but okay. It feels so nice to get away from the hectic urban line. In a city, there's so much... There's so much that I worry about non-stop. Hmm. But on this cruise, pretty much all those worries drift away from my mind. For now, at least, I'll have I'll have two more. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll have more to worry about when I get home. So all that I need to do for now is relax, 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 and dang it, I can't stop thinking about all of that work that I'm going to have to do once this is all done. Not to even mention the fact that you decided to get on a cruise without knowledge on traversing water. Relaxing doesn't exactly come first nature to you. For one, the sounds of crowd and distance will make you feel like your eardrums will explode. Second, your skin burns as the sunlight attacks it. What? What crowd sounds? And third, your head feels as though something is pressing on it from the outside. I know it. I just can't seem to chill out. As you lament your lack of chilling, you begin to hear something. Are you hallucinating now? Ah, your ears are presently aroused by the sing. Goodness, what a beautiful melody! Who could this? Who could be the singer? As the wave rocks the ship like a cradle, you fall asleep, oblivious to the incoming storm. <laughs> oh no! In fact, it seems as though no one is aware of the clouds incoming. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I just see the premise. The hero can always sway the machine ship back and forth. In fact, it's so much that. No! The ships that you're on, unbeknownst to you, capsize. Unbeknownst to you. You go down along with the ship. And so our tale starts. With you sinking to the bottom of the ocean, still sleeping, up oblivious. Uh. Hello? Are you awake now? Are you alright? A fishy odor invades your nostrils. Uh, who? Where's the fish? Um, uh, I see you still haven't come to your sense. It's alright, yes, darling. We'll have an amazing life together once you. <laughs> we could what? Immediately taking bridal. After some more time, some more time spent unconscious, you're finally up and ready. Okay, you're still a bit groggy, but when looking at your surroundings, you realize that you're not anywhere familiar. What? Where am I? Where am I in this really cool bedroom? Hmm. Hello. I just started with a forlorn jeweler dish shitting on it. That's kind of weird because you cannot click here. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. You guess that you see some seaweed dancing in the current of the water. And then it hits you. Wait, I'm underwater? Well, now you can be certain that you've never been here before. Hmm. Oh, I love this. Look at the UI. It's that side. Yeah, maybe you don't say, uh, that. Maybe it should be censored a little bit. I don't know. It's just, it's just me, like. Concerned about that, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, here. Th that's what I want to do. Thank you very much. Item. Alpha sound. Woohoo! Wait. <laughs> I guess, I guess, no. A very cozy bed. You will know as you have been in this bed for who, who knows how long. The comforter has a seashell pattern on it. Whoever decorated this place has a really cute taste. <laughs> totally. Can we? Can we? Drag with the wall? Oh, I'll kept bookshelf. This is a very interesting selection of books. 
There's all sorts of books ranging from cooking books to books about hard care to self-help books. How do you even get books underwater? Uh, hello there. <laughs> uh, our hair kind of looks the same, just a little bit... What do you call it? Just a little bit off. You can say the resemblance, right? That's nice. It happened with a massive conch shell sitting on top of it. Upon looking inside, you can see that there's rainbow of color within. Oh, I thought that was a bouquet of flower. Bouquet? Bouquet? I made a sick grand piano. Wow, I've never seen one of these up close. I could only ever dream of affording one. So there's multiple ending to this game, by the way, so yeah, need to mention that. I'm stuck. A simple microphone. You dare not sing into it, for you know what cough on a sound you'll contaminate the air with. Aw, oh, don't be like that. Singing is for everyone, you know? This appear to be boxes filled with craps. Living craps. Their pinches threaten you, so you stay far from this box. Whoever sits here has a penchant for seafood. Whoever stays here, huh? <laughs> Hello? There's a bunch of books in this bookshelf. For some reason, you wonder if you can move this bookshelf. Interesting, it does look detached from the other. Maybe you can, maybe you don't. Who knows? Freedom! This is not freedom. I love the entrance. This is the entrance, right? That's the entrance design, that's a cool. What will you examine? The envelope? The painting? The, the, ta the table? It's a table. What, what more information could you get out of the table? I don't know. Maybe it's made out of something. You know, that's not woods. It's an envelope with a fancy wax seal. Maybe it was made from a depleted uranium, so you know that there's radiation and you need to stay away. Or maybe it has like uh, traps in it that when you touch the envelope, it just like. I don't know. Uh, shutdowns on itself. So you become. Ah, oh, my hand! It's an envelope with a fancy wax seal. This one has a little heart on it. The painting? The painting of a bitch with a palm tree in the foreground. You wonder how this painting is so well preserved. Me too. This pool has a little bit of seaweed splotting in it. It must be the exit. Do you wish to get out, get out of here? Ah, so you wish to stay and see what happens. Alright, good. Heck no. Yeah, my only complaint is that the yeah, save file is like that, so... That's kind of that's kind of not nice, but okay. Heck yes. You jump into the dark water. You elegantly swim through the water, cutting through it like a knife, and like a dolphin, victoriously emerge at the surface. All of that will be true if you know how to swim. <laughs> and you don't. Then why do you jump into water? So as opposed to cutting through the water, you flay your ar arms about trying to move your body correctly. But everything you do anchors you to the ocean floor. You are not a creature, in terms of your ability to swim and in terms of your ability to breathe underwater. Eventually, you're unable to hold your breath and the water fills your lungs. Why are you so silly? Why? Oh, let me edit my character a little bit. Sorry. There we go. I'm just setting some opacity to my character so you can see text, maybe, through me. Maybe a little bit more opacity, actually. Uh, let's see. That was 9. Let's add... That's 0. Let's make it 8. Okay, 8 feels better. And the water slowly penetrates your lungs. Your chest burns like an unextinguishable fire as the water fills in it. And it goes on for the stay some time until every thing goes dark. Your corpse rises to the surface and it is found by a ship's crew. It is ruled as a case of drowning. To be fair, you did drown, but no one knew of the circumstances that brought you to the pond. When words get out of their death, your ex-girlfriend goes on to talk about how she know you and is so sad that you died. <laughs> she sends her a donation, none of which actually go to your funeral and said goes straight into her pocket. How does that even work? So what resulted from your death? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it's zero, watch it escape. Here's a little tip to avoid this kind of ending. Marcel doesn't know how to swim. Not yet. Anyways. Oh, spicy. Spoiler, huh? Continue, shall we? Okay, so... Shit. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice transition. You don't need to take a step forward. 
to do anything? Uh, yes. Let's... Let's talk to you, shall we? Oh, that's pretty. You walk into the kitchen. And you notice that someone is there. Someone with the most luscious hair that you've ever seen. And she notices you. <gasps> ah, you're finally awake. That's good to know. Here I was thinking that you died on me. Who the heck are you? Did she kidnap me or something? Kidnap me? Why, darling, of course not. Actually, I rescued you from that dreadful wreckage nearby. Uh, what wreckage? You don't know. You were in the boat. I guess that you might have lost consciousness at some point. I was on my daily swim when I when a light, light from above was blotted out by a dark figure, a ship to be precise. I swam over to the wreck and I saw you, a poor land dweller, sinking like an anchor to her demise. Why, I had to save you. I will never able to be able to live with myself if I had to let you die. Did you just save us because you like how we look? Alright, that grows up a lot. I think I can remember now. Sorry for being so rude. It's just that waking up in the home of a stranger is kinda scary. It's fine, really. I get it a lot. I'm a weird sea woman residing at the bottom of the ocean. Of course a land dweller is gonna be scared. Oh no, it isn't anything like that at all. I was just extremely confused as to where exactly I am. Uh, wait, are we not going to talk about this see the dweller situation? Alright. One minute I was falling asleep to this captivating melody, and the next thing I knew, I wake up, wake up in a cold bedroom. Ah, funny you say that. It's been forever since I had a guest, so I didn't even have time to arrange the room properly. Just thanks for saving my life. Even if I were awake, I wouldn't have been able to save myself. It's nothing, darling. After being cooped up in here for so long, I needed to the exercise. By the way, you're probably starving. You were unconscious for a few days. A few days? Yes, it was a few days. Why do you look so shocked? It's just that I have to go back to work soon. If I'm right about what day is, it is today, do you have to go back to work? I see. How about this? Just stay for a while and dine with me. You need the energy anyways. Well, I'm a bit hungry, but I could have just... No, no, no. As long as you're here, you're my guest. You're probably not even in the best state right now, so let me tend to you. Oh, darling, you didn't catch your name. I'm Marissa, and you are? Cordelia. Call me Cordelia. Now, Marissa, my lovely little guest, I'm going to serve you a meal to die for. The fact that you nearly died and she said that drops you, to... drops you the wrong way just a teensy bit. But at the same time, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, food is food. She did mention that she's been alone for a long time, so I guess that I'll cut her some slack. I probably should leave soon, I don't know how long I've been here and I need to get back to work. But at the same time, I feel pretty bad just leaving the woman who saved me. After putting a little bit more thought into it, you sighed. There's no harm in staying a while. Food's ready. That was pretty fast. I shall probably sit down in a bit. Ooh, what is the food? Oh, that, 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 that looks fine. It's just fish. A very large carbon vase. Back where you came from. If someone had this, they'd probably be arrested. <laughs> you cannot get arrested if nobody knows that you had it. What if we jump now? Oh! You don't wish to leave, however, since you know that Cordelia, Cordelia would be heartbroken. That's nice. Uh, the... How fresh a person this underwater house is beyond me. The more you think about this thing, the less it makes sense. Hey, do not let it that sinks in, you know? After all, an underwater house is surrounded by, well, water. Well, is there water inside the house? Hmm? A cutting board with a knife blades on top. There appears to be fish juice staining the board. Oh, delicious. How is the function in this underwater house is beyond me? What? 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 What is this? Is it just windows? Yeah, it's just windows. Look at that the lighting. Hello. <laughs> me and my wife dining. Let's go. Fish. Fish. Fishish. You situate yourself at the dining table. 
As <laughs> we're just one. As you observe the dish, it becomes so obvious what the source of the fish smell was. It wasn't a fish. It is a fish, actually. I prepared this specifically for you, Marisa. Now, now, how did she know that this is my favorite food? Good instinct. This is your favorite food? Wait, what, what is that fish? Is, is that really favorite food? Just fish? Cordelia seems to know a lot about what I like, from the cool bedroom to the food. Are you sure that you aren't stalking me or something? Ha! Huh? Stalking a land dweller from the dark abyss that is the ocean proves to be lacking difficulty for me. Now let's consume this ravaging meal. You pick up the fork and knife trade, and try to resist carving down the entire meal. How do you even know how to make this? Ah, uh, funny story. Actually, a couple of months ago, another ship capsized near my humble boat. Sometimes when I have nothing better to do, I explore those wreckage. I wonder why they capsizing, huh? Oh, BRB. Okay, where was I? Sometimes when I have nothing better to do, I explore those wreckage. Not because I'm afraid of bodies of land doors or anything like that, but because of what those ship brings. On these little trips, I've come across string red, gizmos, gadgets, and so much more. But this trip was special, as so I finally found a book on cooking fish. Ah, strange, you know. But before finding this book, I only know so many ways to cook fish. I think that I know what you're getting at. We can only take so much of the same thing before we get bored. Life needs some space up to keep it engaging. I guess that you're like my spy stand. Ooh, <laughs> the race. I said that because being alone down here can be nice, but when it's all the time, well, it becomes numbing. I see, you know, that on that ship I was trying to break out of my same old routine. But you know what happened? It's like the world is telling me to just stay in the mind-numbing schedule. I love how there's like a sound of like just underwater bubbling. You know? Or perhaps the world is telling you to get a routine. This is the situation you're in right now is a massive change now. Yeah, I have an idea. Your boat vacation failed. Why not stay with me as a little vacation? Oh, I didn't think of that. But it sounds... I could get your bed set up and everything and you'll be like my roommate. I know that, now that we don't know each other that well, but how does it sound? You get a vacation and I get roommate. She makes a lot of good points. I do kind of want to say now. R roommate, huh? Roommate. Will you stay or not? Of course not. Oh, I wish there was a safe point here, but... I'm sorry, but I can stay. You're rejecting me? I I'm not rejecting you, it's just that I have so many responsibilities up on the surface. That's what they all say. They all say? If you don't like me, then admit it, instead of lying to me. Cordelia, I do like you, it's just that I need to get back up there. Oh no. Why did you make me think that you like me? Uh, you're beginning to really want to get out of here now. Shh. Ch you won't even say anything to me. Fine. Try and leave. See if I care. Is this a chase? Okay. I thought this is a chase scene. I will like shit my pants if this is a chase scene. Try to leave? Huh? You can hear Cordial in the room. As you walk closer to the door, you hear her hear an eerily familiar melody being hummed by her. There's a pain in her voice. As much as you wish to be Cordial like a way, you dare not enter. Oh. Hey, Cordial isn't that bad, apparently. Mm-hmm. Oh, wrong button. Ah! <laughs> I'm so pissed, dude. Okay. The exact place you need to be at right now. I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe I could ask Cordelia to help me get out. She didn't want me gone after all. Um, oh, Cordelia, I... 
What more do you want from me? You have already taken advantage of me, Marisa. It isn't anything like that at all. Quiet. Stop, what are you- you your scream are muffled by the water. N no no stop it. I want out, stop. You try and fight back against Cordelia, but she's holding you down with so much force that it feels like her nails are cutting your skin. You know, it was a mistake meaning that you could live life. I've been down here for so long, you are like my only light here and forever. My chance to share an aquatic grave with someone. My chance to live with, with and grow old with someone. Oh, oh, okay, Cordelia. I've been through this too many times. I will share my aquatic grave. You'll die in the sea just as alone as I will. Ending one, a short grave. Well, that's that's very interesting, Cordelia. Very interesting. So we have to do all the sequence over again, I guess. Of course, this time, this time we will choose, of course. Alright, I think that I'll say it's uh, my little crystal placement. Maybe on the water when you can be in it. How oh, splendid, Pharaohs. I'll go and get your new home set up. Fascinating. Huh. Yummy fish. Interesting. Nothing new. There's a secret in the hu this house, definitely, 100%. Like, what else the reason there's stuff like that? Mm, nothing here. Okay, nothing then. So I just go inside the room and... Done. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's a little bed! I didn't see that. Okay, I, I think we're just going to share one bed. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> that's really cute! Goodness, Marisa, you startled me. Oh, sorry about that. It's fine, really. It's been a long, long time since I've been startled by someone. Anyway, but enough about that. How do you like the room? I didn't get to do much, however, I hope it suits your stays. I've got to say, I like this much more than the cruise ship's rooms. It feels much more intimate and cozy. That's good. This is going to be your home for quite some time. Now let's get some shared eye. I'm sure that you're tired from the events of the day. You should probably get some sleep now. Hmm. It's so dark that you can barely make out the sweat of the seaweed. Cordelia appears to be sleeping right now. You can help but admire how her hair is spread out in bed. You like the way that her luscious green waves completely obscure most of the bed. <laughs> uh, why are you just standing there, Cordelia? Like. Like that, that's terrifying. I don't want people to do that. A very cute sleeping area arranged for you by Cordelia. Do you want to get some sleep now? No, I hate sleep. Excuse me? Is it just my imagination or this area looks a little bit off? Like a bit has the line is a bit darker than the other. Maybe just my imagination. You know what? Yeah, sleep time. You lay down in the cozy bed and shut your eyes, transporting you to the dream world. Or not. The music tickles your ears. It's that melody game. I'm not just hearing things, am I? You wait a bit to regain yourself as you are more, more likely to be hearing things if you are not composed. But even when you aren't feeling groggy, you still hear it. I'm not going insane, am Cordelia already gone, am I? In order to quench this thirst for knowledge, you should probably search around a bit. Your mind still, still thirsts for information. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> How dare you? You have to be insane to think that books can sing. Huh? Where's Cordelia? 
Interesting. Hmm. Based on what Connor says, you have a couple more days before you have to leave. Hmm, nothing here, then. Hello? No way in hell that singer is coming from here. If the melody came from here, singer would probably be here. But Alice, there's no singer near the microphone, only a woman who produced cacophonous noise. <laughs> and that woman is you! Wow, rude. Extremely rude. Freak you. There's a bunch of book in the bookshelf, yeah. No? Huh. Interesting. Hello, Cordelia? Ah, oh, Cordelia, it's just you. Here I was thinking that someone broke in. Mary, you seem to have quite the habit of startling me. How did someone broke in here? I mean, yeah, maybe. But are that are swimming people. Hey, sorry again for that. Wait. Mari? I just ignore what I said. You know a lot about me, huh? Nah, I think it's cute. Alright then, Mari. Anyways, what are you doing here? Well, this is my home, my room where I please. You can help but notice that she finally smells of salt water. Or maybe that's just water from the pool. But Cordelia is also dripping with water. Then mind the water, I went out for a midnight swim. In that deep dark void called the ocean. There's nothing better. You really don't know how someone could like being underwater at night surrounded by nothing but pitch black. Maybe they have night vision, who knows. Well, Cordelia is much braver than I am, that's for sure. Also, Cordelia can swim. You can't. So, yeah. Let's get you dried off, Cordelia. You're completely soaked. The two of you rush to the bedroom not to do anything. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you don't you don't want to get uh from one soak to another kind of soaked, you know. I hate I hate this. Once Cordo is straight off, neither of you feel like sleeping. You both just lay down in the respective bed, gaze fixed to the ceiling. You have quite a bit a bit on your mind. Maybe I should ask her about that song. Hey Cordelia, can I ask you something? Of course. There's this song and I've been hearing it over and over and over again in my head. It's the same song that I heard before the ship sunk. And I heard it again just a while ago. That's why I woke up. But I think that I'm going crazy, I couldn't find where it was coming from. Could you perhaps describe the song for me? It's kinda hard to put my finger on it, but it sounds relaxing, but in a kind of bittersweet way. No way you haven't heard the song at all, unless Marissa is just hallucinating. I think that I know what, what's going on. That song is known as Siren's Call. Sirens? Yes, Mary, a sirens. Mary, uh, Mary, I'm a sirens. How could you not realize? You really shouldn't be too surprised that sirens exist, considering that this is an underwater house. The siren call is meant to hypnotize those ensnared by lo the lovely melody. Usually, sirens attack large ships, seeking to sink them by hypnotizing the crew. Then they take people captive, keeping them as pets, if you will. Oh. Oh. What a weird situation you're describing, huh? <laughs> Are you sir saying that siren attacked the ship that I was on? Mary! Come on! It. Uh, it is. Uh, isn't it. Oh, obvious? That was very well could be the case. But I don't want you to worry about that. As long as I'm here, they're not going to be able to take you from me. Why do you say that? I have my ways of stopping bad things from coming. Cordelia, how do you know all of this? All of this stuff about sirens? I've lived down here for a long time, all by my lonesome. It's a no-brainer that I know a thing or two about those that are right here. Although Cordelia speaks with such an abid tone, you can help but feel as though there's a bit of sadness in her bones. Mary, what's wrong? You don't know why you 
you've begun to feel ter terribly for Cardelia. It very well could be a result of the fact that you tend to think more in the night about whatever haunts you. Or maybe it's the idea of living in this dark abyss for a long time that fills you with pity. Or maybe it's because you try to see meaning in everything. Maybe Cordelia doesn't feel as lonely as you initially thought. Or maybe she does. She definitely does. She 100% does. In the end, after toying with your thoughts, you bite your tongue. Nothing's wrong. I'm just so tired. I guess that, that we really should be getting rest now. Good night, Mary. Good night, Cordelia. You feel much closer to Cordelia now, and you feel much safer with her around now. You and Cordelia sleep until the sun rises. It's foggy. Yeah, that was probably the best sleep that I've gotten in a long time. It says you recall long nights at work, sustained by energy drinks and coffee. You notice that Cordelia is nowhere to be found. Ah, I guess that's she's mess. Well, must have woken up earlier than I did. I should probably go find her. Oh, okay. Save time. Hey, you know what we can do? Sleep. A very cute sleeping area. Your home, your home away from home. Hmm. The seaweed dance in the water. I shall probably go and find Cordelia. Okay. Cordelia, woohoo! Nothing new here. Nothing. Hmm. Piano. The interaction is kind of weird for the game. Like sometimes the object just doesn't seems to be intractable. Huh? So she's been here. She looks so busy with something that I don't think that she knows me come in. You're filled with the urge to prank Cordelia. All that I have to do now is move quietly. That, that, that. You sneak and sneak and sneak like a serpent stalking its prey. Until you finally reach Cordelia. You got to tap her on the shoulder when... <laughs> uh. Looking to startle me, Mari? Ah, it didn't work this time. This time? Yeah, of course it's when I'm not trying to startle you that it works. You notice that Cordial is wearing a brass bracelet. That's a pretty bracelet. Oh, this whole thing. Yeah, where did you get it from? It's just a family heirloom. You get into the large sapphire gemstone and you feel like it, it's put you into a trance. It's such a pretty shade of blue that you want to start into it forever. You shall go to the kitchen, Marie. I'll be there in a second. Cordelia quickly puts the bracelet in the little box and then looks at you waiting for you to leave. So you do as she instructed and leave the library. As you're leaving, however, you hear something shifting. And then it shifts back. You sit and wait for Cordelia for a bit more. After some time, she comes back from the library and gets to cooking up breakfast. You are very tempted to inquire about the elephant in the room that is the library. Maybe you could look around the later, there later. Oh no, Mary, so what are you thinking? That would be terribly ru rude. Alright, Mary. Huh? Today is your first, first day of a real vacation. Ah, uh, yeah, right. So I was thinking that maybe we could do something fun, like playing on the piano. It's one of my patients. Once we are done eating, we can make some music together. Sounds good. Piano, huh? Safe. I'm game. I'm curious about something. Okay, yeah, I, I just load to check if there's anything else here. I st stop doing the same thing. Okay, nothing. Okay, so I just checked the previous spot before meeting Cordelia, but apparently it does nothing. Hmm. Inspecting everything, you know. Mary, I'm over here. Shh. If you begin to sing, it would certainly be an experience for Cordelia. You sit down and be on a bench, Cordelia follows. 
Oh, that's so nice. You've never been that musically inclined, so you haven't the faintest idea on how to play alongside Cordelia. Mary, do you need help? Um, nope. I think that you do. All of your charts sound so disharmonious, to put it nicely. Oof. Sort of like a whale undergoing the transformation from calf to adult. <laughs> God damn. When it happens, there's some become rather ear grating. Really, it's fine. Nonsense, Mary, let me guide you. Every master of mystic started from somewhere. Oh, Cardo has smooth hand touch your own hand as she gets you through piano piece. <laughs> you begin to feel butterflies in your stomach. Cardo continues to guide you, keeping a firm grasp on your hands. Eventually, two of you finish the piece, but you insist on playing it again with Cordelia, to which she happily obliged. The two of you continue playing the piano until you both feel as though your eardrums will bleed out. Nighttime falls and the two of you go to bed and arise for another day of fun. Profit. The two of you play what? Profit will TM the entirety of the next day. You never had much time for games, so naturally Cordelia beats you. Damn, I'm so bad at this. You might be bad right now. But maybe if you practice with me some more, you'll be able to beat me someday. That, the way that Carlos say it, that doesn't make you feel as though you've been put down, however. You feel you feel as though she sees potential in you. The next day... There's so many CG, holy shit! Cordial gives you a little tutorial on makeup. Mari, this looks like fishing on you. I'm surprised that you never got into makeup. I tried, but I wasn't really any good at it. Besides, I'm way too ugly to even cover up my face. Mary, be believe in yourself, okay? Nonsense, Mary. Makeup is meant to emphasize the amazing features that you already have, like your lips. Cordial carefully applies lipstick to your lips, even holding your lips a bit to prevent smudging. Besides, besides Mary, I actually believe that you're quite cute. R really? Why else would I tell you? As a punchline to a joke. Then why do I want to... Uh, I'm having psychic damage right now. Huh? Why do I want to squish your cheeks till you pop? <laughs> yeah, sure. Ha 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 ha. Ha indeed. And every night that you stay with Cordelia, the two of you have more moments than you feel butterflies in your stomach. Heck, even at night, the two of you will lie down next to each other and chat. You felt as though you explode with emotion every time Cordelia did this. Of course, so Cordelia would eventually return to her own bed rest. As you would sleep with the knowledge that Cordelia would protect you from anything. So your mind is able to enter the dream realm every single night. So the dream realm for you is more like a vague recollection of memories. For better or for worse. One particular night, it's definitely for the worse. But Marissa, are you even listening? I'm sorry, of course I am. Yeah, right. You clearly didn't listen to me when I came to the to makeup. I told you last time to wear makeup when we were out in public. Ah, I see. Yeah. <sighs> I, I am wearing makeup. A lot of it too. That's why I was kind of late today. I know that I could have asked you for help, but I didn't want to bother you or... ex-girlfriend. What kind of girl doesn't even know the basics of makeup? Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> and it sure has all doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. Oh, really? Thank you. I think that I went overboard... It looks like your natural face. That's not something to be proud of. Um, like Marissa, if you're not even going to bother looking nice for our dates, then I'm not even going to, bo to bother being nice. I'll be better next time. No, 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 Marissa, Marissa, do you hear what she said? If you don't bother to be nice, you don't need to bother be nice. So you can just be mean. Just uh, be toxic back. Ha, huh. both of you to seem that I'll even be next time. She began boisterously laughing as though passing by a look at the two of you. You sing in your seat. Your face will sob like you're about to begin sobbing on the spot like what a pathetic loser you are. You feel just like that little girl who needs someone to love her. You wonder if this is what love is supposed to feel like. People have always said that love is a gift and take. Maybe if you let her take a bit of your dignity, she'll give you that affection you've been crave no. Crave. Of course, when has it ever gone like that? After a few months of take, 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 
take. You find her giving your boss the most passionate makeup so she could ever see your fucking boss. Well, okay. She kisses your boss with so much more passion than she ever kissed you. Of course, midway through the makeup session, she notices your diminutive presence. And then gives you an... I can't be having a side, any side chick, so bye-bye, and then kicks you to the curb. You then proceed to beat yourself up over this for the next year. Ah, oh, Marisa. How could... <laughs> yeah, it's so true. How could I let myself get with an almost a cartoonishly terrible girlfriend? Yes, you yourself. Desperately hoping that your mind will give you an answer. All of them red flags were there, from the aggressive messages followed by showers of gifts. The blatant disregard for your dignity went outside. And yet you still stayed for a long time, trying so hard for her approval, hoping that by some miracle she finally love you. You know, the one thing that I learned from being in Twitter is that just block people. <laughs> uh, it's 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 actually the best thing I learned from Twitter. Like, if someone pisses you off, if someone makes a mistake, just f fuck off, fuck off for them. Like, dude, fix your attitude or go the fuck away. You know. Even though you haven't known Korea for very long, you feel an explicable post torture because because hear me out. Yeah, you sh sure maybe you lost that person, but there's so much more other person outside in the world. For you to know. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel bad. Okay. You can't quite put your finger on when you feel this way towards Cordelia though. You've always been into bad girl douchebags that made your life a living hell. You've never been into woman that just seemed good. Oh yeah, about, about that. <laughs> She's done more for you than anyone on the surface has at the very least. After a few nights of staying with Cordelia, you realize that you're going to have to leave soon. So you decide to get to know even more about Cordelia. It's quite looking pretty outside, isn't it? Oh, that's... Say she is just as blanketed in aquatic darkness. It is surprisingly nice all the way down here. Maria, I can tell that you're pretty perturbed. What's the matter this time? You know, a couple of days back on the day we met, actually you mentioned something about loneliness. How living down here can be nice but isolating. And I don't mean to sound intrusive or anything, it's just... Why do you live at the bottom of the ocean? Good good question, actually. Why do you stay here? I should... Corelli, I'm sorry, I take it back. That wasn't a little bit intrusive, wasn't it? No, no, it isn't too intrusive. No one has ever cared to ask me that before. Do you need to live in such a lonely place? Not that I ever answered that question. How am I to remain a fashionable figure if there's no air of mystery around me? What? Are you okay, Cordelia? Ha ha ha. Why do you ask such a question now? It's just that. Sigh. It takes every ounce of mental energy you have to squeeze the following out of your mouth. I have to leave soon. It's fine though, because we'll make these last few days worth it before I leave. A silent eternity passes before she murmurs the next words. Lee. Lee. Me. Uh, sorry if I get a little tense there. You're the very first person down here in New Year's Mary, and I don't think that anyone from surface will come down by the time I'm gone. I think that I get what you mean. He says Cordelia just stands as if she's holding back a scream. In that case, let's not talk about leaving for the time being, okay? <laughs> the way she sleeps, that's so funny, dude. You and Cordelia go to sleep just as you have all the other nights before. But this time you can help but shake the feeling that something big and terrible is going to happen. Granted, that is already the way that you think. You arise with the light from outside granting a day of promise. And again, it seems as though has gotten up before you. You know the drill by now, find Cordelia. Quick save. And then load. Okay, now we are back here. I want to talk to Cordelia, actually. Maddie, go to the piano and then we can get to playing. Or are you more interested in singing? Hey, I'll sing if you want music ruined for you. 
I'm certain their singing can be that terrible. That's fine, I'd rather play the piano. Hmm, okay, so it's just the dialogue that we miss. Interesting. I should probably go and find Cordelia. Can we just leave? Hmm? That's new. Is it? Well, those books have always been full of cram. If you're using this type of book to help you before, but all of that be positive and stay motivated just confuse you even more. You can do something that you don't know how to do. Is that new? Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, that's new. Whenever you look at the spinner, you're reminded of Cordelia and how she guided you through that piece. Even though Cordelia will, probably wouldn't be bothered by your trouble singing, you dare not to sing for the sake of your own pride. <laughs> ah, this is the second time that I find you here, Cordelia. Where are you going right now? Unfortunately, we are almost out of food, so I'm going to go how to get some. From where? The underwater marketplace, it's like where you, what you land dwellers call a grocery store. I shouldn't be gone for too long, alright? Okay, I'll see you soon. Now, how am I going to pass the time without Cordelia? I'm not that good at entertaining himself. There is actually quite a myriad of things that he could do here. Ah, the puzzle thing starts now. Hmm. Save time. Okay, now load. And go back here and instead... Go to the library. No, oh, nothing. Okay then. So we just have to do... Wrong file. We just have to do this one. That's new. Is that new? Maybe while waiting for Kelly, you could try to figure out what sorcery allows for this type of function. <laughs> yeah, you sure? Sure you do. Would you like to build up some sheet music before playing? You don't have any sheet music. Use the number 1 to 8 to play notes and press Q to stop. If you try to play something specific, wait a bit and then play. They're done playing for. That's a puzzle. That's hundred percent puzzle. May I you to sing to this? <laughs> Interesting. You, I'm interested in you. You said you shift through the books to find something to read while waiting for Chloe to come back. You pick up three books, take them with you, and sit down. Pick a book to read. La Belle et la Bête. The Gen of Siren, a label book, a bell element, you begin to read this book. It's about a young woman who's captured by Bess, but in the end both of them fall in love. Pick a book to read. The Gen of Siren, you begin to read the book. It's mostly about sirens with information about their behaviors. One of the most notable things about them is the fact that they capture humans and keep them as pets. Another thing is that you notice is a sound call can affect the physical plane of existence in addition to the mental. Some of the pages are straight up scribbled out, but you can make out a couple of words including cursed words. Pick a book to read. Unlabeled. You don't know why exactly you took this book. After all, there is no kind of information as to what this book contains. But you are bored, so you read it anyway. You open the book to one of the first pages. Sometimes I don't know exactly why I have this book. I guess it's akin to speaking with someone. Minus the actual social interaction and minus the filter that I have to put over my words. So this is more like spilling my thoughts on a page. Those books say that journaling is good for combating isolation. Given the difference between two, I don't really think so. Ah, oh, this seems to be some sort of journal. 
You turn to another page, the handwriting appears much sh sharper. I hate this, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Alright, let me collect my folks. I was reading Legend of Siren, I don't know why I was reading it, I know that it will upset me. Maybe it's because it's my only way of knowing what people truly think about me. One thing that really completely sets me off. It was, never trust a siren if you do all that they'll do to you is something that you and make you stay with them. That's what people really think about us like me. We will then dare to sing our songs if they give us a chance. Did it ever occur to them that we do this because of content like this? Content that guarantees that we'll be alone forever. Ah. You frantically flip to another page, thirsty for more information. Yesterday I received ship sang during a thunderstorm. Let's keep in mind that it had nothing to do with it. A young man was thinking unconscious when I found him. I decided to take him to my humble abode just so that he could heal. Everything was going so well, but somehow he came to the conclusion that I was a siren. He came to the conclusion that I considered the whole thing from the boat sinking to rescuing him. So he left, all because of the idea that I am a siren. Can he even leave? You know what, sometimes I feel like I'm two people, Siren Cordelia and Person Cordelia. Person Cordelia is me, and Siren Cordelia is the person that people think I am. I wish that I could take Siren Cordelia, Cordelia and force her into a non an unknown reef. Maybe it'll finally get rid of her. Not that it will matter anyway, Siren Cordelia will only be dead to me, not to everyone else. You know what, I don't see why I bother trying hiding Siren Cordelia. She is the one in the spotlight, holding everyone's gaze in her slimy claws. Maybe I should just embrace her like that self-help book suggested. <laughs> God damn it, self-help book, no fucking way. If I can't kill Sun Cordelia, then at the very least I could use her power to my advantage. Not to hurt anyone, of course, just, just to stop being alone. The rest of the pictures are empty. Several things occur to you, none of which I say be, I'll say because they should be pretty dang obvious after reading that. No, no, wait. <laughs> Aren't we going to address Mari? Uh, yeah. No, that can be true. Uh, yeah, Mari, what? How do you know? Cordelia Siren? Th this seems everything, doesn't it? You began to rethink everything that happened for you in the past few days. When the ship sank, did she have anything to do with that? And everything after, was it all just some sort of plot? After this realization, some things make a bit more sense, but it makes even less sense. And worst of all, was there anything even real between us? Or was I just under her spell? Then again, even if I was under her spell, does that mean this, these memories are unreal? Does that mean I didn't experience the lovely things? Does it mean that I don't love her? And that's all assuming that she did have me under her spell. If it was so your limbs are frozen in place, like you want to move left, but you also want to move right, so in the end you go nowhere. In your mind, thousands of opposing thugs are battling for dominance. You don't know what's true or false, or even right or wrong anymore. I see. Well, you know what to say, curiosity got the cat. Indeed. So, well, wait a minute, wait, what's with the CPU usage? BRB. Okay, there was a weird CPU spike. I hope it's working now. Move the bookshelf. You continue dwelling on your thoughts until... She's back. Ah, that was a nice trip. The result is working like charm. No one even look at me all weird. I better get to putting all of this away. You really don't want to talk to her right now with the knowledge that you now have. Oh, does that bracelet makes you look like a human? And you just go to a human market? Question mark? But however, you really wants to get out. I... I need to think. Uh, what? You wonder if Cordelia considered these cats her friends? That's so funny. And here is where you could just get a heck out of this place. And it's where you could have gotten out if you realized that Cordelia was a siren before this moment. 
How did I not realize that she is a siren? I don't know. You, you, you're just too much of a lesbian, I guess. <laughs> this is just like all of those times before. Something that's sitting right in front of me, but he's just ignoring it. You try to list out of any other red flag that you can think of. You can only think of how clingy she gets when you get suggested leaving. I can deny the fact that I get where she's coming from. Maybe this is why she didn't want to tell me that she's a siren. Speaking of Cordelia... Great, Cordelia has walked in, in on you trying to process everything. Mary, what are you doing here? Your heart's a flutter now, pounding so much that you wonder if Cordelia can see it. You can tell if, if it's because of the butterflies in your stomach or because of the rising horrid feeling in your chest. I... Cordelia, I need to, I need to ask you something. May I go first? What are you doing here? Well, come on, Rasek, I'm to excuse for this one. She already knows your, of your intention to leave this place. What are you going to say? You feel like looking at water. What kind of excuse is that? Your current mental state also isn't helping the matter. The fact that your love and unease are both clashing in your mind makes you want to vomit it all out. And you're so focused on both of those things that your speech is put to a halt. You want to vomit all your words. I just like that no story in this room, that's all. So this is the excuse that you're going for. I see. I don't have to agree with you, this is a nice room. Yeah, very, very nice, just like you. Aha. Uh -huh. Fortunately, you dodged a bullet with that one. Cordelia sleep resting with <laughs> the belief that she skipped her scandalous script from you for another night. You, on the other hand, just can't get in Shanghai for obvious reasons. I mean, you're sleeping in the same room as a siren. Is it that bad? I feel like she knows. There's no way that she didn't notice there's something up with me. Did I put her there, there back correctly? If I didn't, she'll know for certain. Then again, maybe she doesn't notice these things. There's no way that she can notice everything, right? I'm gonna go and check right now. <laughs> uh, this two characters is so funny. Carter sleeping in sweat, would you know no, now know you'll still find her hairspray on the bed attractive. Granted, you don't know if it's because you're hypnotized by her. Huh? You sift through the books and eventually you come across a sheet of paper. Open it so many closer, you realize it, that it's shit music. Got shit music. Item! It's about a song one. Do you think I know that? Is am I supposed to translate? The, I'm gonna die, dude. I'm I'm so dying. I'm so I'm so fucking dying. Okay, then we'll. I guess we'll try that and die. You don't know how to feel about the fact that Curly has access to knives. How stuff is functioning. <laughs> what? It should be obvious that it's a bad idea to play, play this right now. Bad idea to sing to this. Is it? Is it though? I love how. I love how our speed is like limited, so like it, it feels like we are sneaking in the house. I'm curious about the envelope, honestly. Love is pulling you away from the comfort that living could provide you. Oh, that's interesting. Love, huh? Wait, could we just go back to sleep? Your anxiety is coming you to stay up and check on the diary. There's a bunch of books in the bookshelf. Nope. You look through the books and pick out Cordial's diary. All right, I'll have to disregard where this book is supposed to go. Although your memory files so you attempt to use logic to figure out where to place the diary. However, while the diary is in hand... Mary? Well, it looks like you've been comprehended. Ah, Cor ah Cordelia, fancy seeing here. 
Mary, what are you doing up this hour? Um, Cordelia looks at what you are holding. Cordelia obviously recognizes her own diary. And what exactly are you doing in that book? Oh yeah, this book. Just organizing. And you need to organize the books because you were reading them? Yes, so... No, it's just really, really like organizing things. No reason. <laughs> it's a no-brainer that you are picking. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Woo! Bravo, Marissa, you're truly, you're truly an astounding actress. And now thanks to your award-winning performance, Coriolis is probably going to put you on a leash or eat you. Even worse, she'll make you think that both, that both, both of those are indeed awards. Scythe, so, I guess that I may, might as well own up to it. I should have no idea to find out about it sooner or later. A few days. Anis and Love talk your main opposite directions. On one hand, you can exactly ignore the possibility that or Cordelia orchestrated this whole thing and has been manip manipulating you this whole time. Possibly. But on the other hand, you see why she will do it. After all, you do something as desperate as that if you were as lonely as Cordelia. What What do you say to Cordelia? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me about any of what was in there, Cordelia? You've read enough in there to know what happened the last time someone found out about who I am, right? Yeah, I did. Put a piece together yourself, Mary. See how I see. You look over at Cordelia and you see a mirrored image. The image of someone who's alone. A woman who despises who she is. A woman who feels as though the world is against her just for trying to be herself. So is now the time that you tell me, screw you, siren, I'm leaving? No. But you're still leaving, right? Recalling all of your memories from the surface, little to few of them make you smile. The most that they do is make you laugh from how dumb you were back then. You know that any sane person from the surface would probably tell you to get out of this fantasy and return to reality. But people will tell you that are living their life of your fantasies. I mean, this is the reality right now. It's sort of like that time when your boss told you that money didn't matter, surrounded by luxuries that you could only dream of. <laughs> money didn't matter, and I was still your girlfriend. Let's go. Leaving Cordelia will force you back into that, to that mundane real life. And if that's what reality is, then I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Cordelia, you have been the best part of my life so far. I wouldn't leave you for anything in the world. Oh, what is this? You're moving in awfully close. <laughs> I've been keeping something for you and even myself, Cordelia. Ah, I guess that we are both sharing out a big bad secrets now. Since I already know something about you, I want you to know something about me. I don't care if you're a siren. Even if I'm being influenced by some sort of magic, I don't think that makes it any of what we experience less real. Besides, I'm already under the influence of something else. And what is that? May I kiss you? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm having psychic damage. You and Karela moving closer, our lips aligned perfectly. And the, <laughs> and the crowd goes wild as you and Cordelia indulge in fantasy. No more of that dreadful thing that you call reality. Yay! If it wasn't obvious by now, Cordelia likes you just as much as you like her. Wow, I... I don't know what to say. How about we start with an I'm sorry for looking through your diary, hmm? Puff, puff. I am sorry for looking through your diary, but I sort of let it is. Alright, alright, you do in fact have a point. So what now? I can't exactly take back any of that lofty duffy stuff I say. Well, this might some some preposterous for a land dweller, but how about you live with me? Hell yes! We'll live with each other till the day that we die then. We'll share an aquatic grave. Now, dear reader, there's probably something to say about reality and fantasy and all of that good stuff. But I'm not going to talk about that. To get to this point, you have to be willing to complete the gift in the, into this romantic fantasy. Instead, I'm going to talk about how two souls managed to come together in a sea of loneliness. This was in fact a love story. Maybe it was a bit unconventional at the beginning. Screw the surface, you only need me in your life. But by the end, our two lovers were happy together, ignoring what they each suffered in favor of each other's company. 
ending four, Aquatic Grave. Have I already got ending three? Interesting. Okay, this time let's pick why did she do it. Why did she do it, Cordelia? I don't exactly follow. Cordelia, but that's time I've been hearing. What? Do you really think that I did that? Why would I sink the ship if I ended up rescuing you? Who said anything about a song sinking a ship? Well, didn't you in insinuate, insinuate that? I was going to ask about hypnosis, but I guess that your response has answered everything. So what if you were hypnotized? It doesn't erase what happened between us. It certainly doesn't erase the fact that I saved you. You didn't save me, you captured me, that way it could be your pet or something worse. This is what your landlords don't get. I'm not like all of their, those other sirens. <sighs> yeah, cycle. Destruction, huh? I don't want a pet. I want a lover. Can you blame me for wanting that? No, I can't. Then why do you have such a problem with this? Your mind goes back to all of those times that the red flag was being waved right in front of you. Sort of like a red flag in a bow fight. <laughs> it always started with... Why are you so lame? Why do you have a problem with this normal, cool, totally not immoral stuff? <laughs> wow. And you always complain because how could you? A pathetic, clingy girl fight them. You taught me a lot, of, a lot, Cordelia. How to play games, make up music. But among those things is something that I never, never knew. You, ta you taught me I'm more something that I've got potential. I can't deny what happened between us was real to some extent. But that's the problem with your plan. I now see myself as someone worth saving and that's why I'm not going to wait for you to break me. I'm sorry Cordelia. Sorry that you can escape this hole that you're in but I'm leaving. No, no. You should run now. What the f- <laughs> uh, Well, there is a chase in. Pebble, pebble. What if we get cough? Cars comes to ground, ensuring that your escape is impossible. With all of the words that came out of your mouth in the library, there's no way in hell that Cordy is ever going to let you go off you ever again. As much as you might have loved her before this, your resentment for her only grows she holds you down. You're always going to one out, aren't you? You're just like everyone else. You want me to be the big bad siren, huh? Then that's exactly what I'll be. The melody swirls around your head, your tense body relaxed to the song's wheel. And Cordelia has finally offered you for good. If I didn't like you so much, I'd probably have just let you drown. But because you're so cute, I want to live a long, happy life with you. We'll live with each other till the day that we die, then. We'll share an aquatic grave. Ending to Siren Maw. Interesting. Wait, I gotta check what ending have I got already, huh? Okay, this time we try to run, obviously. Unfortunately, can't swim. Shit, how am I going to... Cordelia, I... With all the words that come out of your mouth in the library, there's no way in hell that Cordelia is ever going to let go of you ever again. As much as you might have loved her for before this, your resentment for her only grows she holds you down. You're always going to one out, aren't you? Uh, yeah, maybe. You're just like everyone else. Mm-hmm. That's the same word that you say back then. Okay, some ending. Siren Love. Interesting. What are you, heck are you doing? Get out of there. Wait, what? Uh, you can hear Cordelia in there screaming. Okay, that scares the shit out of me, dude. Okay, it was... I was... No, I, I'm totally not thinking of getting a weapon. <laughs> I love how we still got time to like examine stuff. Hmm, okay then. There's nothing we can do here. Interesting. Okay, so there's this moment where we're alone. Interacting with the bookshelf will just skip forward. So we don't do that this time, right? 
And this time we explore around here. You know, this is the moment where Cordial leaves to get some stuff. Hmm. Bad idea to sing to this. Because you had such a restful night, you didn't feel like stepping the day away like you do up on the surface. In theory, you could just slip under Curly shows up. It's what you probably do up on the surface. But now you don't want to. Instead, you want to do something meaningful. And it doesn't include slipping for 24 hours straight. As you gaze through the window, you see a small skull of fish swim by. Ah, uh, that's cute. But then a shark appears looming behind a fish. Oh no. And then you probably know what happens then. No. The water now has blood floating through it. Fishies. Ah, we can get it here then. So we can get the thing before. You aren't that much of a good cook, so you decide to get cookie. So it is this thing, but god damn it, it's a shit music. Shit music before playing. Wait a bit and then play, huh? Oh, this is the music. God, what? Uh, let me pull out a music reference online. Shit music translation. Will that work? God damn it, I've never learned this thing. Okay, let's see if this is the correct answer. Summer summoning open- hell yeah, let's go. The melody is really familiar. Why does Cordial have such shit, shit music for that song? I'm gonna pull- I'm g No, thank you. Okay, I'm- I'm- The answer is 154323. 123, 123. Fucking finally. <laughs> Holy shit, I hate- I hate that. Uh, okay then, let's enter the room, shall we? Interesting. I saved in the wrong file. I'm impressed by myself. <laughs> oh my god. There's a little box in the wall in then. You open the box and find... The cipher bracelet Cordelia wore the other day. Get a cipher bracelet. All I'll note in this book is in the box too. Use this bracelet to change forms. What does this mean by change forms? Well, you know. You know what it is. You know what it is, don't you? What it means to change form. The little box is now empty. How do you... How, how would you hide this? How would you, how would you hide all of that? Huh. Interesting enough, we don't have it. Interesting. Do we just have to go through that sequence? I don't want to play music. <laughs> I'm traumatized by the music now. I'm pretty sure Cordelia will notice the giant thing missing. But okay. Oh, wait, what? Part of you want to relish in that memory even if it is false. Oh. Quick save. Woo, that's sort of fine. You put the server result on, hoping for some kind of miracle. It's meant to change your form, right? And under the sea you go. You weren't expecting much to happen. After all, there's only so much that a little bracelet called you, right? You still expect yourself to flay your arms about. Except you don't. 
Your eyes are a good shot for the fear of water invading them. But after some time, curiosity gets the best of you. Wait, this can be right. I'm not dead yet. You open this peepers then. <laughs> what the heck? Pan pan up. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Cordelia didn't know that she could get like that. As you talk to yourself, you realize something. Wait a second, I can talk in the water. You also realize that you're finally be able to swim thanks to your new tail. <laughs> that looks so funny. I guess that's that. That's that's what the note meant by changing forms. Mari, C Cordelia. Although you know that the woman that emerges is Cordelia, you feel as though that this isn't the Cordelia that you know. I'm not letting my one chance at fulfilling life get away from me. You should probably run. Now. I can say faster than you hit me, so. I don't know if that will give me enough momentum. Oh, never mind. You are pretty slow. Shit, what am I going to do? Come on, think. You man immediately goes to a certain call. You remember that it can affect this physical world. Spam the Q button to make the rocks go away. <laughs> Alright, good. You got it. Now get out of here. Please don't make me stuck in this. Why are you starting there? Wait, is that another path right there? Huh? That is another path. Maybe if we are being silly, we just get stuck there. Freedom! Woohoo! I assume. No. No. I'm not letting you go. Something forced me to be with you. You have to let me go. You don't know what it's like being confined to the depths of the ocean. There's not a single living soul inside down there. You think that I'm the monster, you're the one leaving me just because this is what I am and I can change this about me. I'm not leaving because you're a siren, I'm leaving because you tr you're trying to make me stay with you. Well, would you ha have even wanted to leave if you didn't even know that I'm siren? I've been wanting to leave. This doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you're a siren. This has everything to do with the fact that I'm siren. You never get it because you're not in my position. So what it will be, Mary? Will you leave me to rot in this godforsaken place called the ocean and return to your dreary surface life? Or will you live with me, grow old with me, and share an aquatic grave with me? You know how you say that I'm just like all of the others, whatever that means? You're just like all of those women who chained me to them. Ooh. I get where you're coming from, I really do, and I'm sorry that you've been hard in the past. But that doesn't mean that you get to make my life a living hell. So this is a goodbye. Cordelia watches the swim to the surface, too stunned to even speak. You're stunned that you were able to go off on Cordelia like that. When you get to the land, thankfully the bracelet gives you back your leg. You were pretty worried that bracelet will take your leg permanently. But what the bracelet can take from you is the experience you had in that underwater house. For a long time you tried to analyze what was real and what wasn't. A few months passed and you still haven't fully deduced those things. But you have come to the conclusion that you like yourself a lot more now. You stop telling yourself, Marisa, why, why do you fuck up, fuck up, and other things of the sort? Even when you do feel kind of down, you remind yourself that you literally escaped the siren. And that a siren that you love, or at least so you did. One year later. So you, the reader, might think that it's purpose. I was thinking about that. For Spesterius, for Marisa to go on a cruise again, it certainly isn't for her. You know, last year I wasn't able to chill at all on the ship. But I guess that's after what happened. To me, nothing worse can happen. Marisa sitting on the next chair soon. I mean, no. Clarissa. Wait, I forget the name. Shit. I said if, if the swimming lessons were useful, even if something does happen, I'll be able to save myself. Cordelia. Yes. It's been a year since I've seen Cordelia. I don't know what's going on with her right now. But I have my own life to live now. Ending 3, self love. Oh. I'm just wondering, what, what if we just get captured? There's a small space there.
yeah, I can break this. Are you not chasing me? You are chasing me. You're just stuck there, I guess. Like there's some sort of invincible barrier. Although you nearly escaped, it was all in vain. Corelia in all her gory silence glory drags you back to her home. Leading to the muscular's ending where you're pretty much Corelia's pet. She calls it loving, you call it demeaning. Not that you're allowed to say anything, of course. Ending to Siren Ma. Here's a little hint. Run away from Cordelia. <laughs> Shut up. I know that part of you wants to run into her arms for a hug. But that hug really is just going to smother you in the end. Silent. I, I'm afraid to do anything I want, okay? Why are we able to destroy this area? Like, I don't see any reason for us to be able to destroy this. Except maybe the original plan was for us to get stuck, which doesn't seem to be working. Ha, huh, they didn't calculate for me going back here, huh? Yeah, there's an invincible wall, wall to Cordelia. Oh, holy shit, how did we dodge that? Damn, I think it was part of the game. Cordelia just watching us go and she's like... I should have realized better, something like that. Anyway, yes, let's go back to the title. So, okay, let's review the game. I love it. I didn't expect there's so much CG in it. Uh, well, the scope of the building was small, actually. It's actually well crafted, like. I must say, I love the story, especially, like, how we act how we get so much uh, choice in in what ending we get. Like, actually, it, it, it doesn't need to be romance. It could just be the story of us letting learning about ourselves and stuff like that which is cool i guess oh <sighs> uh, what else i just wish okay i just wish that we also get an ending where the the self ending actually makes cordelia cordelia also learn something you know and you know have a self love on themselves as well that's what i'm trying to say uh what else the art is amazing, the whole scene thing is amazing. The, the situation is just great, I just love it. Uh, I don't know what else to say, honestly. Other than that. But I guess that's all for Aquatic Grave, I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video. Bye bye.